Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make some guacamole. Yes, so here are a couple of products that I'm going to use to make this guacamole. It's really simple, pretty fast, and very easy to do. So right here I have some tomatoes, green onions, the green and the white part, as well as some chili um, peppers. And this is the brand of chili peppers that I use. And it's not that many of them, I only use two. I have four avocados right here. Um, I have this guacamole seasoning and this is spicy. And this is great, great guacamole. I'm going to use garlic powder, lemon pepper, onion powder, black pepper, sea salt, and some lime juice because I do not have any fresh limes at this time. But usually I do not use fresh, fresh tomatoes for my guacamole, I usually use paste picante sauce, the hot, but I don't have none, so I'm going to use fresh tomatoes, green onions, and chilies. So if you guys want to see how I create my guacamole, then please stay tuned. First, we're going to start off by removing the avocado from the casing. And like I said, it is about four avocados. And make sure you get ripe avocados. I have one that was was a little too ripe but I'm still going to use it anyway because I'm the only one that eats guacamole in my household and I'm going to make some taquitos and I got to have some guacamole with my taquitos so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the avocado from the casing And it is very easy to remove the avocado from the casing, especially once you pull the seed out. And how I pull the seed out, I just use a knife and kind of stab the seed and then remove it from the actual avocado. And I make sure I get every little bit out of the casing. As you can see, they are coming out very easily. And I'm going to make some wonderful taquitos. And that is going to be um, a, a recipe in one of my playlists. So if you want to see how I make my taquitos, then go ahead and tune into that video. I'm going to make chicken taquitos. So I'm going to go ahead and mash them up. I'm just kind of like splitting them with my spoon you might want to use a fork for this and I am going to get a fork in a minute but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon because it's already dirty get out of them cabinets Sunday you see my baby is being bad in the background okay so now I'm going to go ahead and get my fork oh god bye Stop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mash them up with this fork. And I do want a couple of chunks of guacamole, so I'm not going to mash them up to the extent to where it's like mashed guacamole. Because I like to get a couple of fresh avocados when I eat my guacamole. Okay. So this is really simple and easy. Go over there with your daddy, baby. Okay, so that is how much avocado you get with four avocados. So now I'm gonna add the tomatoes, the green chilies, as well as the green onions. And cilantro tastes really good in the guacamole, but I don't have none at this time. So I'm just going to use what I have in the refrigerator. Go ahead and stir that around. And it's already looking good. Already. This is just quick and simple. Okay. So now we're going to add... A little bit of juice from the green chili mix just a little bit 
We're gonna add the lime juice. Just enough so the avocado won't turn too brown. Some garlic powder. And we're not going to put a lot of seasoning we cut because we have the seasoning packet, the guacamole seasoning packet. This is lemon pepper. Onion powder. Cracked black pepper. I like a lot of pepper, okay? Okay, so that is about enough. And a little bit of sea salt. Okay, that's enough. And you know what? I do want to add a little bit of cayenne pepper in here. Okay, so just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay, and now I'm going to add one pack of my guacamole grape guacamole seasoning. I get this from Stater Brothers for 99 cents. And I'm going to use one pack. And I might use a half a pack of the other one. And this is the spicy. Because this packet requires two avocados, but I don't want it to be too salty because I added my own seasonings. So I'm just going to use a half a pack of this. And save this for the next batch of guacamole that I'm going to make. And we're just going to go ahead and stir it up. Okay, and let me take a taste. Mm. That is perfect. And that is it. That's how I make my guacamole. Quick, simple, fast. It only took about eight minutes. And you're all done. So, I'm about to get started on my taquitos. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.